the Coca-Cola edition 1940 Ford Businessman's Coupe. Coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, here we are on another What's in the Box episode where we get to look at a Coca-Cola edition car. We haven't got to see one since the 1923 Coca-Cola van. So now here it is, the 1940s, and we have our 1940 Ford Businessman's Coupe, the Coca-Cola edition. Now let's go down and open up this box and see what's in it. Here we are once again setting our time machine back to 1940 and here is our AMT Coca-Cola edition 1944 Ford Businessman Coupe. Now one thing about this model is it came out in 1995 and this edition here is actually my dad's and he gave it to me because at this time we were collecting some of the Coke stuff. Now dad was pretty smart he left the shrink wrap on and what he did is he turned the box over and he cut the shrink wrap across there and there and then taped it in. Now what he's done is he's preserved the box from getting any further damage so that it's in a nice mint condition as you can see and here it's good to see the back of the trunk how they applied that for the coca-cola decal and there's your engine and the details there you go now we have the instruction sheet which is very much like the original from the 1985 edition blue box that i have in this video series it's the same drawing they give you some more detail on it but unlike that kit they actually tell you what the engines are. There's your Ford Flathead V860 for 60 horsepower. The 1950s Buick overhead valve V8 known as the nail head because of how the cylinder head bolts were arranged. And then you can supercharge that as well. And all these engines are universal and they share the same mounting locations as the 36 Ford, the um, 20, or 32 Fords and many of those other kits so you could actually swap out the Buick nail head for the Oldsmobile kit that's found in the 39 Ford or some of the Pontiac kits from the 36 Ford and whatnot. Now because this kit was, is a reissue of the 80s kit it was updated for the 1990s with these vector style wheels and directional Goodyear tires they also gave you new interior components like a dashboard, steering wheel, and these bucket seats, race car style, as well as uh, what was new for the 90s, a decal location and telling you how to paint the trunk lid. But it's pretty much the same kit as earlier. Uh, now let's look at some of the parts because there are parts in the box that are different from the instruction sheet. But before we do that, here are the decals you got with the kit. The white Coca-Cola for the trunk lid and the two red ones for the side, which was always quite nice, and of course Michigan license plates. And now we'll swing this out of the way and give it a more in-depth look. Now I'm not going to open up the bags on these, so we're going to have to look through the awful plastic. Sorry folks. Now one thing they added were these DeSoto style bumpers which are new to this parts tree and they also added in these hubcaps with the bar in them. So almost moon discs but not quite. The rest of it is the same as the earlier kit and you get the stock hubcaps for your stock wheels and these little chrome rings here are beauty rings for your stock wheels. And then here are some Baby Moon hubcaps for customs. And now there is the interior upholstery as a one tub and your engine stand, followed by the undercarriage. And we can see that flash is still a problem in 1995. This kit came out under RC2, which were noted for die-cast cars, and when they took over AMT Ertl, they did not really care too much about it. 
but here you can see the uh, fuel lines in there and again the molded in exhaust pipe and then we look at the body and the body is now molded in gray but it's the same as the blue one and of course it fits nicely on the fenders there's that flash that I was talking about it's a seam line I should say that was in the original molds and I did some research on the 40 Ford and they actually did have a seam line like that there not so pronounced though because they couldn't quite figure out how to put these on and mold this fender as a one piece because it's got quite the roll to it now you can notice a nice grill detail there is a sink mark there and there's some great detail on the running boards as well nice grooved lines in there the chevrons are molded into the rear fenders whereas in the 39 ford kit they're not molded in so that's how you tell the difference in the amt models of what's a 40 and what is not there's your hood underneath and they only give you the one hood unlike the 39 kit where they give you two and that's got the cutout for your uh, blower and then there's some of those mold buttons that need to be taken out with a number uh, number 16 hobby knife and then we have our window glass with the sides and the headlights and then we have our rings for the custom tires now this was another thing that they changed in the kit from the earlier one these of course are the Goodyear directional tires and as you can tell they've got quite a tread pattern on them and you have to cut out this piece to let the wheels go through next up we have engine and rear axle components this is a, a thing for towing the car you can glue it on um, the stock steering wheel the flat or the flathead uh, cylinder heads as well as the ones for the nail head Then here is another new for the 90s components. There's your racing seats and your modern instrument panel. Then here we've got the Buick nail head motor as well as the steering column and some exhaust pipes. Note the fine detail on the bench seat and these would have flipped forward to let passengers get into the car then here we have our classic classic dashboard for the 40 Ford followed by the stock wheels the stock axle the blower and some license plates again with a lot of flashing and then here we have our front wishbone the battery the belts and the brand new for the 90s steering wheel then our classic four firestone wide oval or whatever they were tires actually it says they only say firestone on the tire And once again, our blanked out grill and the little spare tire piece for the 40 Ford sedan delivery. A radiator full of flash. <laughs> and these are the wheel backs for the custom wheels. And we also get our roll bar. And that will bring us to the end of what's in the box for the 1940 Ford Businessman Coupe Coca-Cola Edition. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box when we got to look at the Coca-Cola edition of the 1940 Ford kit. And if you would like to see some of the other kits that I've reviewed in the past, please check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to subscribe to us right down here so we can continue bringing you these great What's in the Box series. So until next time, keep your cars, wheels on the ground, and the roof 
where the sun can hit it. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.